guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole. One of the most common questions I get asked is for smoothie bowl recipes that have no bananas in them. Bananas are such a funny fruit. Some people love them, some people hate them, some people are allergic to them. And unfortunately, it's usually the main ingredient in all acai and smoothie bowls. But today I'm gonna show you a recipe that you can do that has no bananas in it and it's just as yummy. So before we get started, give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can join the best family ever. Okay, let's get into it we're gonna start with a fourth cup of almond milk we're gonna put this in the bottom of our blender you always want the softest ingredients down towards the blades because that's what will hit the blades first and get everything blended up and then the harder more frozen items on the top will push everything down so it all gets blended up nice and well now our main ingredient for this smoothie bowl is going to be mango if you don't do frozen bananas frozen mango is the next best thing to get the creamiest smoothie bowl and put that right in there Next, we're gonna do about two cups of frozen strawberries. I'll have this recipe linked in the description box below if you wanna check it out. And then our secret ingredient, about half a cup of frozen rice cauliflower. You guys know this by now. I'm the queen of putting frozen rice cauliflower in my smoothie bowls. And I do that because you can't taste it, but it adds a little bit of nutrition and veggies to your smoothie bowl. Um, and it makes it thicker without adding extra sugar. The last ingredient that we're gonna add, this is completely optional, but I always put a scoop of vanilla protein powder or some kind of protein powder in my smoothie bowls to help it make it be a more well-rounded meal. Um, again, this is optional. I just love it because it keeps me fuller longer. I've tried so many protein powders out there and my favorite so far has been 310 Nutrition. Their flavors are so yummy. It's a really clean product and it doesn't overpower the taste of your smoothie. So if you're looking for a new protein powder, I'll also link this down in the description box so you can check it out. And I've got a discount code for you so that you can save a little bit of money. Okay, that's it. So simple, three ingredients, four if you're using the protein powder, but now we blend. Me, oh my gosh, here she is, so beautiful, and she is overflowing. This is the most refreshing smoothie bowl. Like, for a hot day, this is the recipe you need. Like I said, the recipe is in the description box below. If you're wondering where I got these cute bowls, these are actually my very own line of coconut bowls that came out a couple of months ago. They have these cute little hand-painted squiggles on this side, and then the word nomad is etched in on the other side to encourage you to never stop exploring. If you wanna get these bowls, they are a limited time edition, so they won't last forever. Don't sleep on this. They're so cute and would look so good in your kitchen. So click that link down in the description box. You can use all caps, Nicole for a discount. Y'all, I have so much fun making smoothie bowls with you. So if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you wanna see more like it. We'll see you next week, bye.